How would you assess Benjamin's legacy, number one, in the South today and in American Jewish history? Well, first, there is no legacy in the South. I mean, he is he has disappeared from history. Uh, there are a few pictures of him. Uh, there are there was once a monument in North Carolina where he stopped on his flight down. The synagogue had put it there. It's now been removed. Um, you know, I compare him to Judah Turo, who grew up at the same time, same place. There's Judah Turo this and Judah Turo that. New Orleans got a lovely hospital. There's nothing of Judah Benjamin. He left no children. So he, he wiped himself out of history. Uh, so it's kind of, you know, it's, it's a melancholy fact associated with his life. Um, you know, if we think about his place in Jewish life, he, his is the story of assimilation, of, of an astonishingly successful act of assimilation with the, the terrible pathos attached to it that he assimilated into the most evil cause America has ever known. And therefore he became an extraordinarily gifted spokesman for an evil cause. Um, and and um, at one point in, in the arguments over abolition in the Senate in the late 1850s, so one of the Republicans, a Republican abolitionist, uh, described uh, Benjamin as a Jew who'd taken the side of Pharaoh. And yes, that, that was so. He was a Jew who'd taken the side of Pharaoh. 